There's something that most people miss when they think about which blockchain or technology might be integrated with banks or enterprises. And that piece is multi-sig. So one of the main things on the XRPO that sets, sets it apart from other chains and differentiates it in enterprise setting or for banks and institutions is the multi-sig feature. This allows for governance to be built out around payment flows and authorizations to have to happen at certain levels or be weighted by the individual that's signing on an account. So let's say, you know, maybe even within your own uh, company, you're okay with each employee spending $50 or $100 to solve a problem or an issue which I think is a great way to be able to delegate that and be able to resolve conflicts quickly. If somebody needs to solve something, you know, assign them a small amount of money that they can spend to solve a problem. And then obviously they have to report it later. But with blockchain, they wouldn't even have to. You'd be able to see it right there. So on the XRPL, you can designate, you know, up to a certain dollar amount. You might only need one signature. Up to another dollar amount might require multiple signatures. It might require a specific person's signature at the bank or institution or enterprise. It's utilizing that wallet for those payment flows. And because of that, this is why it's going to be adopted at scale in these applications versus some other blockchains that have to have some other UI or something else that's a secondary layer to be able to provide these features. This is built into the network inherently, which allows you to build out these governance structures, especially if they're complex, right? You might have uh, certain situations where there's a smart contract or a transaction between two parties where specific people are needed to sign on this. And this could also be for trusts, right? You might need a distribution trustee to sign off on something. You might want your spouse to sign off on something over a certain amount. You might want your manager to sign off on something over a certain amount. You might need the CEO of a company to sign off on something over a certain amount. And so if you don't have this feature set that's inherent to the blockchain and it's a derivative or a secondary layer on top of that, there's going to be problems and it's probably going to break at some point where if is, as long as it's built into the layer one that it, like it is with the XRPL, you're not going to have those issues. Uh, so along with, you know, digital identity and all of the other huge things that the XRPL has going for it, multi-sig again sets it apart as a differentiator from any other blockchain. And that's why, again, XRP is going to be the winner when it comes to banks and institutions and their adoption of this technology for their use cases in payments.